Good morning, folks. You're with Edward on the 17th of July 2024, a Wednesday, here at Western Michigan University, right across the street from the Bernard Center, or the Bernhard Center. Proper pronunciation. It was built in 1957. I've been in this building for a fashion show when I was a little boy. My mother got me involved in coming in here and modeling winter clothing. I think I was six years old. They had the master of ceremonies was Kitty Carlisle from the television show To Tell the Truth or What's My Line. I think it was What's My Line To Tell the Truth. I think it was What's My Line. But this is the center. There's also, of course, the student union for WMU, the bookstore. Had a heck of a bookstore. And as you can see, it's being raised to the ground. Take another view of a different angle here. A lot of materials, the steel and so forth, will be recycled, that's for sure. There's value there. The rest of the building goes all the way down there to the corner. Not much posted here anymore. Some remnants. This will soon be gone as well. Very, very large beam laying right there in the bottom of the pile. Right across the street from the now, almost disappeared Bernhardt Center is the Oaklands. A beautiful Victorian area mansion right here on the property. For many years, this uh, state of Michigan historical marker has been here on the front lawn of the Bernard Center, the Bernhard Center. Be a second to take a screenshot and, and read this. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Let's go and see if there's anything on the reverse here. It's the exact same. Kind of nice with uh, the Oakland's mansion there in the background. Oop, be right back. And another little view of the center before I take a little walk over here and show you what replaced this.
just noticed something as well we're gonna take a little look at but they have a uh, a water mister or sprayer and it's right over here they use these uh, when they're tearing down older buildings they do the remediation the best they can of asbestos and other things but yet there's still going to be a material or two left around and so the dust is in the air and of course you can see the basement part down there um, and they have to keep that down so they do it with spraying water in a mist and it's blown through a device just like this and this is what this is and you can see that's hooked up over here to the fire hydrant and here's the blower right here and this will blow a spray of water like a mist keeping all the fine particulate matter down and be hauled away safely all right let's go take a look at the new student student union be right back on the way to the new student union we're gonna pass the gathering tree fountain as we're making our way to the Gathering Tree Fountain, here is New Sangren Hall. Um, the old hall was dated as well. It was raised and a beautiful new facility built. Sandwiched right in between one of the old dormitories. And then of course right back here, the Barnard Center that they're raising. Right across the street is the Western Michigan University Administration Building. I had heard a rumor that that may uh, be replaced one day. And then right here is the beautiful fountain. And right behind it, with the rising sun from the east over here, nice sunrise coming on, looking right downtown, downtown Kalamazoo in the distance. Right back here is the new student union. And it is gorgeous. I think it was seven seventy or a hundred million dollars. Go up here and take a closer look. We'll be right back. Very nice. Okay. And I'll take a little look here to the north and the east. The road right here used to be uh, West Michigan Avenue. And it comes straight through here. All the way right through where I'm standing. And straight through where you see the uh, the crossovers to the other buildings in the back and then out to uh, to an area near Howard Street and then on to uh, to um, uh, Drake Road and that was uh, that was the a road that was completely reconfigured it was taken out of here completely making this a beautiful walking campus all the way through I don't know, and I know many will ask, what is going to replace the Barnard Center? And I understand an updated uh, um, student housing, similar uh, uh, replacing 
these older housing units like this. We're going to take a little ride down into the valley because they're going to be raising Valley 1, I believe. There are three uh, dorms down in the valley. And uh, when I was in high school, we used to go in there and party down in the valleys. Um, go take a look at that uh, next. Be right back. I know I'm going to be asked, and yes, they did have a McDonald's in here. It was right through the end entrance over here, the east entrance. Inside there, not anymore. Here's a little view of Ellsworth Hall, one of the older dorms. Here's an example of one of the newer dormitories behind Ellsworth. And again, some of the newer dormitories. Okay, here we go. Valley 1, 2, and 3. Uh, just take a ride right up here a second. And take a look in, at the valleys. Then we'll show you at the end of the line their new food service uh, uh, building here. The new cafeteria was in the Bernard Center, the Barnhard Center. And they moved it out here. We'll take a look. First, we're going to take a look here at Valley 1. And there you have it. I think this is the one that they're going to tear down. I think all three are going to go. And then they're going to uh, build a newer style of accommodations. Be right back. And here's another little shot here of Valley One. Okay, Valley 2 and Valley 3 are pretty much identical to, uh, to the, valley, uh, the Valley 1. We're going to go up here and take a look at 2. This is where we used to do the major um, attendance, we'll say, to the parties up here. It was up here in V2. Well, they have a fence along here now. It used to slide down that hill. All right. Here's V2. And I've been through that door a couple of times. Into V2. I got a heck of a funny story about the big bicycle rack here. During one of the parties. It is really funny. That's for another day. Be right back. There's the bicycle rack right there. Used to be a little bit larger. There were uh, three lines of racks when the incident happened. And of course, Valley 3 right there. This is just the food delivery area for the new uh, food service here. Be right back. This is the new facility, the dining facility here at WMU. that also accomplished is being able to serve all of these students down here in these valleys 
where before they had to walk way up here to main campus um, to the uh, to the Bernard Center, the Barnhard Center. I always say it both ways so everyone can understand. Um, to go and eat. And now they have their own area. And when the new valleys are built, They'll have their new facilities, their new dormitories with a new dining facility. It'll all match. Up here a little ways there's uh, the dinosaur garden. We'll visit that another time too. When we do I'll tell you about the bike rack at Valley too. Thanks for watching today and taking this little trip to uh, Western Michigan University. I'm gonna turn around right here. We take a look at the back side or the north side of Sangren Hall. Thank you again for being with me. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. A beautiful sunrise over WMU. See you in the next one.